Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Manor Lords and welcome to our medieval land that we will soon develop into one of the best medieval towns to live in and to thrive upon. However, we're going to be starting with pretty much next to nothing there. We need to build up our own little village, our own farm. We need our own hunting and foraging supplies and we need to get ourselves going. But before we do all that, welcome to our little village. This, this is Manor Lords. This is a demo available on Steam for everyone to play on PC right now. The premise of this game is a medieval strategy. You are you will find yourself in a random location where you will need to get after it pretty quickly. You'll need to uh, build up your own little uh, hamlet. Start with a village, for, uh, houses for your five workers there. You'll need to start to uh, build on more foraging supplies, more lumberjack supplies, a farm so you can grow your own land. And you need to be able to build up and build up and build up so you can survive and slowly develop. And like I say, it is only a demo version right now, so it's very limited as to what you can complete. But this is a really fun little strategy game. If strategy games are your thing, you will probably really enjoy how this one lays out. So this is our little area right now. Cool thing about this is as well, uh, you always start in, this, uh, in a different little hamlet here. So, so far I've started three different versions of this. So I started it once here, once there, and now we're over here. So it allows you to have a little bit of a, every time you come into this lock demo, it allows you to have a little bit of a different approach, really. Uh, but you'll see, this is us. We've got five workers there. We've got a handful of supplies, a bison or an ox, sorry, so we can move our, our lumber around. But we need to make something happen. So how are we going to do that? Well, first things first, we have wild animals that roam around there. So we really need to get ourselves some supplies for that. Uh, we need to get some more lumber felled because we need to build do that we need trees uh, and we need to start finding the water source so we can build houses and then we can get our farm going and then we can start to be a prosperous uh, young uh, village that we can build out to uh, as you'll see visually i think this is stunning you can actually go all the way down into first first person mode as well uh, but let's have a look at this there's a fire at the heart of every settlement a bastion of safety warmth and light against the darkness of the world on this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, their, bre their breath clouding in the air. But there's plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine you hear the ring of anvils, the toiling of bells, the cries of the marketplace. Possibilities. In the distance, fog lingers in the hollows of the land, and the world is quiet. Watching, waiting for you to choose which of those to make real. So we have a list of objectives. We've got to build a granary. We've got to build a logging camp, a forager hut, and a storehouse. And we're also going to build a farm as well. So let's get going, shall we? First thing I think we're going to put into here is we need wood for anything that we're going to build. So this is our little uh, task menu here. And we are going to go with a logging camp. So we're going to set that one up somewhere close to the road. Right about there. Let's go, people! So now... Those guys are going to start building this. You'll see if we come down to here, click here as well. It is getting after it. So that's good. Uh, so we are going to be building. Now, we also want to start to take advantage of some of the supplies that we have in here. You'll see there are little tags here for various different supplies. So we've got a mine up, uh, an iron deposit in the hill. We've got berries there. There are wild animals to hunt in the hills here. And as you span, pan out there, you'll see across the maps and across the different regions, there are a lot more of those supplies. So some days you'll probably have to go further afield to find out what's happening but that's fine so you'll see the ox has already started to drag lumber over there uh, as things will start to get some progress over here which is good uh we also need though to get our storage and our supplies under cover now the easiest way to make sure we can do this is to have a road that connects us in between so let's just get that going there uh, and we're just going to build you take you to that from there, we'll go up to that. Perfect. All right, so they are all connected. That's gonna make it a little bit easier. You'll see building is already underway. So let's get a few other things built here. We'll speed up time to see how we're looking. We want our log camp to start to work in that forest there, which it will. I also want to start to build up a uh, forestry hub and a hunting camp so we get, can get some supplies coming in. So that's going to be the next. We're thinking about where we're going to build everything. You'll see there's a, a vein of water coming through here and it's not too large. So what that indicates to me is that we're limited as to where we can put things like houses because we need to have a, a vein of water there. So 
Uh, what we will have is a well on one of these veins, so it makes it a little bit easier. The well is probably going to go there, judging by how this is all panning out. Uh, large sum of animals up on the hill here, so I'll have to get into that. Uh, and another block right there, too. Uh, so let's get a, a well built. Let's get ourselves set up for that, at least. But also, let's get our supplies going. You see our hunting camp's coming on nicely, so let's get this this house built let's get this camp built let's get some food coming on in and then we can start to get our farmland ready and build up our village what's really cool as well is that you can actually identify which areas you want to be a priority first so you can build everything out there but as we're starting to build there things start to take their own turn in terms of priority obviously for us to build we need wood so the the woodcutters camp becomes priority number one I'm feeling like what we might do here is build a little bit of land along here, just so we can establish it. Uh, and then we should be good to go. But what we're going to do as well, speed up time just a little bit here to get us through this building. Allow us to kind of continue on with our plan. Now, when it comes to fields, you'll see you even have a yield map here. Greens and reds and yellows for where it's going to be best. So we can currently plant Elmer, Flax, Barley, Rye, or Smell. Now, I, now the scent or the smell here is going to be for your uh, for your hunting, I do believe. Ooh, it looks like we have got this building thing under control. Uh, for flax, so it doesn't look good. We're not in a very good area to grow anything, as it turns out. A little bit of a patch there. But yeah, this is this is not ideal. But as you can see, we now have a logging camp and we now have a hunting camp, which is great. So we're going to assign one worker to uh, log. Because we, we always need to be logging and we're going to do the same thing for hunting. What we need to do is select the area that we're going to work in. So you take, by selecting on that area, you can then bring it on over. There seems to be a lot of animals in here. A lot of deer by the looks of things. And let's just get them working away there. So now they're going to start to bring in there. You can see Buddy Boy here is off to go and hunt. Love to see that. Uh, and then we can get our, a few different pieces of, bits and pieces set up here too. Uh, I want this to get a, a, a well. Looks like we're going to stick our well right there because it's on a uh, a water vein. Alright, so now we're continuously hunting and bringing in our uh, timber. So we can continue to build and build and build. Uh, what we will do over time is start to figure out how we're going to actually clear off these uh, clumps of trees here. Uh, and we're going to have to build on out as well. Fell a few more trees, get this area built out a bit so we can start to expand. As you look down our list of uh, objectives, we have built a logging camp. We are in the process of building a forager hut. We need to build a house so we can store everything in and a granary as well. So let's continue to look into that. What I might look to do stick those around this back side here just so it's all in one area we're going to probably have a lot of different uh granaries and a lot of different storehouses as we continue to, to to build up but let's just maybe stick that about there i want to probably put that on that way we're going to stick a little path in here i think so let's do that because then what we can do is stick a little uh, little road access into there Excellent. And then we'll stick in a granary there as well. Okay, so I'll have to wait for the granary. As you can see already, we are bringing in carcasses, which is great, which means that we are going to be able to eat, which will also do things up here. You'll see that your approval rating is important. It starts at 50. It's going to vary a little bit as you get started, but you obviously want to keep that as high as possible. Elsewhere up here as well, you're going to see uh, public order. So once you start to build up things like a, um, a, uh, a tavern in there and a town, how are you keeping on control of that? And also in finances are going to be very important. Uh, we have one ox. We are currently in three months worth of supplies before everything begins to run out, which is why we need to make sure that this guy is on the way pretty quickly. Uh, we'll put that as a priority there now. Uh, and we can continue to allow that to build up and build up. Uh, eventually, we'll be in a position where our farm will be able to provide enough produce to take advantage of this guy, a passing tradesman. That's going to be pretty cool. 
Uh, but let's build in a couple of farms here, shall we? So like I say, the yield is not great, but we're, we're kind of stuck with what we've got here, really. Uh, it gets a little bit stronger on the hill, so maybe we can look at sticking a field up about there. Uh, and then we will have one. And then we'll stick another one in here as well. All right, so that's going to be a couple of fields for us there. A little bit more forestry work to be done in this corner, which we'll get to. And then we'll make sure that we can get all that targeted. But eventually, we need to get a farm in place first so we can actually tend to those. But if you don't have a farm, no one is going to actually be able to work on those areas there. But we will get that all taken care of. What we'll do is just actually get you to work over there now. Wonderful. We look onto here we've already got uh three items in the pantry and one generic there so three bits of meat and one skin or one hide already so the hunting is doing its job uh we are surviving there we're going to speed up time a little bit now once again just so we can get everything built up here because we need to continue with this but we just need to get a few things built up so we can uh, get some more progress here. So progress has been made. We now have our little forager hut here, which the uh, worker is actually harvesting berries from in the woods there, which is great. Wind is picking up here too. Uh, and yeah, you'll see everything is coming along. Mill house here at the moment. We've got meat on the fire. We are going to start to build our storehouse here right now, which shouldn't take too much longer. And then we are felling trees from this particular area here so we can build down our fields into there. Uh, which should be dandy. Right now, we've got a couple of different ones here. First of all, is our sto exposed storage over here, which is fine. I'm aware of that. We're going to build the storehouse so we can accommodate that. Uh, we've also uh, food that needs to move into the granary as well. Again, that's going to be coming into here. Uh, and then we need to build some houses as well. So that is all good. We'll crack on with that as we get through it. Uh, and then I think... Because we have a well here, I'm hoping that we can build a few houses along here and they'll be able to tap into that well. All being, all being well. But yeah, as you can see, it's a large, large landscape here for you to work in. I visually find this really cool, actually. Uh, you can also, uh, if you want to, you can go on into the first or third person mode. Here's me. First of all, look at my getup, if you will. Look at that. Anyway, we can go for a bit of a run around the village here as it's, as it's coming on. There's your lumberjack felling trees, which is great. So we can actually build up our farmland. That's all clearing up nicely. And this is the main road coming through here, which we're going to have to rely upon quite heavily. But yeah, everything is looking rather good indeed. Hoping that we can get to a point where we'll have a nice little establishment of uh, market stores here as well. That would be cool. But yeah, ultimately, ultimately it's looking good. Now, as things are being built here and we're continuing to develop this little area of ours, uh, there's a few things to look into uh, that are currently not available. As I said, this is an early access demo, really. But as we have a look through, you'll see that you have an opportunity as we go into farming, for example, uh, for um, you can build up a farm so peasants will actually work there. That's, we're going to add that in. You can add sheep uh, fields or pastures. You can add uh, cattle pastures as well as a sheep farm. Put windmills in there so that you can actually ground up your grain that you harvest from your fields. And produce something viable there as well so that's all to come uh, again with the industry as well lots of different add-ons there to add in trade versions as well so uh, it's really going to be quite an interesting game as this develops i think it's just phenomenally uh well detailed for the type of game that we're playing here strategy medieval game i think this is brilliant really really do like this an awful lot and it's going to be interesting to see how it develops Right now, we're just felling a few more trees there. We'll let them get a couple more down there. They'll let us know when they've taken everything they can. We'll probably put two more pastures into there. The farm, I feel like, is going to go on this corner here. And when that's built, we'll be able to get the uh, get the laborers at their job. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we even started to build a house here as well. Uh, now, what I probably want to do, the storehouse has been built, which is good. Uh, so we're going to add a worker to there. To so they can start to gather all this stuff here and stick it into there where it needs to go. And we'll be looking just handy. And then once we start to get our houses in, families start to move into the houses. And then we become a, a larger population. Right now, we're at five. The largest I've got to see right now is about 25 and counting. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, we will see what we can get by the end of today. Uh, next thing that we need to start thinking about, though, is further storage. And we need to put our uh, granary in here. 
uh, which is going to probably go about there. I just want to rotate that a little bit. Let's go, people. All right. And that's going to be built up there as well. So we're in May. We made a bit of progress there. We've got our first house coming up. We have got our lumber yard, our hunting camp, and our foraging camp as well. If we look on this, we'll see we've collected seven berries. Uh, or forage for seven different types of berries, I guess. Our hunting camp's currently got a pantry full of 21 uh, pieces of meat and one hide. So a lot of meat there. We're starting to build up for the winter. That's going to be important. Fuel and uh, firewood are going to be important for us. It won't be too long now until this is going to be classified as being empty because they don't take many of these smaller trees away. So we will have to uh, move them on to somewhere else and get our fields uh and you'll see already now as well that the game ii has recognized that we have a storehouse so all the wood is now being stored here as opposed to just up here uh same thing will apply for the bread we'll go into the granary as soon as that is finished as well uh, and we're now starting to keep all of our supplies nice and safe which is where we want to be so they're all safe for the winter months all right we have completed our intro so what that means is effectively we've got a granary completed our logging camp is completed our forager hut and a storehouse but now now it's going to uh, take us on to the next level here, which is about building up that village. We need to get some more uh, houses in place so we can have more people come to stay with us, more people stay with us, more people work, and we go bigger and bigger and bigger. So we need to build five of these houses. We've got two already down, so that's a good start. Uh, we'll accept. What you'll see is every time you accept a new challenge, it gives you a time frame in 365 minutes. Uh, so we are looking good there. Uh, what I'm going to do also, next thing we're going to look to actually build here is going to be a farm. Uh, we're going to get some more fields into here. Uh, right where we have the best yield to at the moment. Makes sense, really. That's going to be the next one there. Uh, they've already taken out the trees that they can, uh, which is good. And I've now got them starting to forest this area as well, so we can get our farm into here. That is the plan. Uh, let's stick one more field in here as well. Like I say, trying to get the best yield possible. Bingo. And that'll be a good starting point. So with that, as soon as we have our farm built, we'll be able to get going. So now, where do we put our farm? Well, what we're going to do is have to wait for that until we get these built, which is fine. We can do that. It's not a problem. Uh, now, though. Hey, give us a hand over here. What we're going to look to do is get that bread inside there as well. Get everything else stored up nicely. Pantry is at 15 now for berries, which is great. Uh, and the meat is really coming on well love that still plenty left to go out as well which is fantastic uh, and so we'll look to keep that established where we can uh, what you'll see is that currently we have a total population of five this is going to start to increase and expand as these uh, homes are completed so we'll look forward to seeing how that works uh, but let's fast forward a little bit let's gather some more resources and we'll look to get something happening with our fields as soon as possible we must be set in the uk it's june and it's lashing down with rain absolutely pouring my guys are working though we're getting things built we're bringing in food but we're a bit wet all right so we have nearly finished building our second house there you can see the rain has stopped as well uh we've already grown in population to seven because we have this farm uh house completed uh, which is great the more people you have like i say the more workers that you have there too that is fantastic if you click on this house here as well you can see what they're currently doing they're all woodcutters right now so that is fantastic to see uh because we obviously and naturally want them to be bringing in as much lumber as possible the second one is already done too uh, and we're gonna get that one filled up very quickly and now we'll get our farm built here as well i fancy i uh, no, i think maybe sticking it about somewhere close to the fields would be ideal um, and it's not actually going to that was a big old tree that fell let's not stick it there Get to work, 
There you go. All right, so we're flying. We're absolutely flying. Uh, so now we should see we're clicking here. Uh, we're still working hard at our lumber. We're currently felling the trees in this area here so that we can build out and build out. Uh, Hunter boy here is hunted. There he goes. And he brings his deer back down the track that we put in there. We made this road all the way through here as well, because at some point we're gonna we're gonna be expanding, hopefully. Uh, and yeah, we'll be good to go. Once this farm gets built, we'll get some workers on the farm there, so we can get these fields tended to without bringing in extra crops for us, which are gonna be important. We will need a market square as well, so we'll probably look to put that in and around here. Uh, we have our granary though. Uh, we have our storehouse, which is full of logs and also just generic supplies such as coats and uh, firewood. We're beginning to look pretty good. Look on here as well. We've already got uh, two hunters in the, or a family of hunters in here, which is great. When you have a peasant who's working on a, um, a, a type of a, a job, let's say a hunter, for example, they'll bring their family and they all become family of hunters, which is awesome. Oh, look, it's raining again. Well, would you look at that? We have ourselves a farm. Albeit not much of a farm there, but it allows us to be able to, be able to start to get some workers going here. Now, what we're going to do is also make sure that anyone who's not working on any of the jobs comes to work on the farm because we need to get these fields into some productivity. So we're going to click on to there. Now. We need to make sure we know what's going into each field. So let's start with that, shall we? We're going to uh, put this first field into uh, what is wheat. It's called Emma here. And we can have a crop rotation cycle going as well. So then we'll go barley and then we'll go wheat again. Uh, we'll go to this one next. Let's go with barley first. And then second time around, go wheat and then we'll go barley again. And then we'll mix it up again. Uh, we'll go into a barley and then into a wheat. Uh, that's good. And then uh, we'll go there. Rotate crops there. And then uh, back to there again. Awesome. But now we need to connect them to a road network as well. So let's just slow ourselves down here and get this road in from there. Stick that to there. Now it's connected. 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 So they are all connected working farms. So what we should start to see soon, uh, we need to put a priority onto this as well. Um, let's just go four, three, Two, one. So now that farm, any farm workers there will exclusively work on planting and tending to these fields here, which is perfect for what we need. Uh, what we should start to see sooner rather than later is that people will get to work on that. Uh, we do have quite a large number of people working on uh, logging at the moment. Now, most of our heavy construction has been done. You'll see down here that we now have three houses built and we also now have nine people. So we nearly doubled our population here, which is great. Uh, what we're looking to do in there as well is getting making sure that we have everybody working and doing the job that they should be which will allow us to continue to expand to gather more food etc and so on uh however we need to make sure that we're looking good for the coming months which it looks like we are and then we can build into here a little bit more as well uh like I say three houses we need to get up to five though for us to be uh, able to complete our uh next task here so let's get the next one down Perfect. That's number four in. And then we'll be good to go from there. So yeah, everything is coming up Millhouse here. I think you'll will agree. Uh, very ha we're happy with how all that's looking. One of the next jobs that we can look to do is obviously we've got plenty of hunting up there. We're still hunting. Uh, we're still bringing in plenty from down there, which is good. Uh, and then we can look into getting the marketplace in here so we can start to establish a bit more of a community and a seller. Selling point for all of the different uh, families that we have here. Uh, which would be ideal and I think what that might actually look like is 
about there, really. We'll stick a few stalls into there very shortly. Uh... What we might actually do is bring them in here. Perfect. They have a, a local selling point so that all the families can gather everything they need. You can as well actually task all these individual homes here to do more upgrades themselves. So they'll provide more, um, more pro produce for themselves and also for the community. That is likely going to be something that's going to be in a later version of the game here. Like I say, it's still very early. Uh, but yeah, something we'll look to do. Uh, and we've got hunter, hunter, hunter. Uh, and we've got woodcutters. And finally, we have got uh, foragers. So that's all good. We're all doing something there. And that house will hopefully become full. Uh, right now, we're up to 10 people as well, which is just awesome. Really starting to come on leaps and bounds. And there you have it, folks. This is the very rudimentary start of a, a, what's going to be a huge town by the time we get to finish this, really. Uh, once we do develop our town and gather up enough people here, we start to train up armies there. And we start to develop a whole civilization. We can then go and take on neighboring armies. Now, of course, that is not uh, not quite in this early de demo mode, but that will be something that we'll be coming and testing as we continue to expand. Uh, keep an eye out for, for Steam for any further updates. I truly do think this is a wonderful little game so far. Really good fun. Uh, and really good to get you thinking there. You can lose hours in it, trust me. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check it out and you're on PC, go and find Manor Lords on Steam. The download is free for the demo. And keep an eye on the early access to see how it continues to build up. If you want to see more of this, do drop a comment down below. Leave a like as well, and I will do what I can. And we'll keep you updated here as we continue to build up and expand. Uh, until next time, though, I've been Simulation for the Nation. I do hope you have enjoyed. We'll see you all in the next one.